This is not going to be some aesthetically pleasing morning routine. This is going to be how to actually be productive and in turn change your life to be a productive life all starting with your morning. So I used to be that person that my alarm would go off and I'd press snooze a million times, I'd go back to sleep. I would check my phone and be on my phone for hours. I wouldn't get out of bed until 11, noon, one, who knows? A lot of times I wouldn't even get out of bed until I literally had to pee so bad. Get up, go to the bathroom, and then maybe even get back in bed and scroll on TikTok for hours. And then before you know it, it's noon or one or two and it was bad. I was constantly letting myself down, not fulfilling promises to myself, and then feeling guilty about it, then staying up till four in the morning to get everything done that I needed to get done for the day. If this was you, or it's about to be you, and you're going down that path, this is how I changed it. This is my new productive morning routine. My alarm goes off, or a lot of times recently, my internal alarm clock goes off and I wake up before my alarm, and I use that to my advantage. First thing I do is get up. The longer you lay in bed and don't immediately get up, the harder it's gonna be. I go to the bathroom, and I immediately have to wake myself up and get myself to stop feeling so gross, so I am going to wash my face, brush my teeth, moisturize my face, and I instantly feel more awake and ready for the day, because that's the first thing I do. Then I'll come back over to my bed. I like to make my bed. I used to be like a hater on making your bed every morning until I realized it really makes you feel good. It makes your room look really put together and clean. It keeps you from getting back into bed and you've completed a task first thing in the morning. It just makes you feel put together and productive. Then I'm going to clean my room. Now I usually will clean my room like the night before just during the day but if it is a mess like it is today I'm going to do that right now. Any clean laundry I have I'm gonna put away right away. I'm not gonna let it sit in the hamper for days until it mixes with all the dirty laundry and has to get cleaned again. Pick up everything off the ground, throw trash away, clean off my nightstands, just make everything look put together because my favorite thing ever is coming home, going upstairs, and it's just clean. I also work from home and I work upstairs in my room, so when I turn around from my desk and it's not clean, it will stress me out and just make me feel gross and crummy about my life and my day. So my room is clean now, I'm up, I'm feeling awake, I'm gonna change into my gym clothes. If I put the gym clothes on, I know that I'll go to the gym. If I procrastinate putting the gym clothes on, who knows if I'll actually make it or not. At this point, I might do some energy drinks or pre-workout or something like that and anything that kind of needs to be cleaned up downstairs. I love cleaning in the mornings. It just it makes me feel so productive. So I might do the dishes or sweep or wipe down the counters. Just something to make it nice and clean downstairs as well. Sometimes I'll put coffee on if I'm gonna have coffee instead. Whatever it is. Then I will go back upstairs and I do my Bible study. Now doing gym and then Bible study or Bible study and then gym flips back and forth and I think it's better when I do my Bible study first but I don't put a ton of pressure on myself so then I don't feel guilty about not following through with it so as long as I do both of those things before I do anything else in the day then I'm good but I do like doing my Bible study first that's what I'm going to show in this video I'll read through my Bible do my journaling all that stuff and I always do all this while listening to worship music it makes me feel so awake and good for the day and just reminds me to praise God and dedicate the day to him and figure out ways that I can glorify him today really just bring brings my mind to that bigger perspective thinking about Jesus, which is the best way to start a day. <laughs> All right, now I have caffeine running through my system. I've just spent some time with God and I'm ready to go take care of my body. So I go back downstairs, I put on my tennis shoes, I get my gym bag, put whatever I need in there. And usually my roommate and best friend Charlie will go with me and we head out to the gym. Now I made a whole video about my first month in the gym, but I like to go six days a week and I do a three day split. So we're gonna do a shoulder slash chest slash triceps day, then we'll do a back and biceps day, and then we'll do a leg day, and then we'll do it again, and then I take Sundays to completely rest. I always start with a five minute warm up on the bike as well, and sometimes I'll do a little hit workout, or maybe go for a little run or some cardio throughout the day, or some days I'll just go on a walk. So it kind of depends, but I do like to get some cardio in there. After I've gone to the gym, I feel so ready for the day. Not only do I probably still have caffeine running through my system, which, you know, that may be a problem, but one, one issue at a time, okay? I also have just all these endorphins that just got released. I'm pumped, I'm ready to go for the day. So then I'm ready to come home and 
get ready. I'm all gross and sweaty, so I'm gonna hop in the shower. I actually recently made my shower really cute, and so I just love my shower time. It's it's a good time to like jam out or just think, you know, and shower, get clean for the day, shave my legs, whatever it is. After my shower, I will put on a cute outfit or whatever, and then I will finally allow myself some time on my phone. Also, while I'm at the gym on the bike, I'll kind of catch up on social media and stuff, but I like to spend a little bit of time on my phone, just, you know, catch up, feel in the loop, whatever it is, and then I will get to whatever I need to do for the day. And that's pretty much the morning routine. I love feeling productive in the morning, and usually I am ready to go completely for the day so early. It's crazy. I used to wake up at noon and now I'm like already doing what I need for the day but way before noon. So now I'm ready to get started with the day whether it's work or going out and filming whatever it may be. I am ready. I also wanted to mention a book to you guys. It's called Atomic Habits. I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of it but if you haven't read it yet I would highly highly recommend. It would definitely help you get into a good routine and just being productive and overall having better habits. I've learned two things over some books that I've read and it's life is really all about boundaries and habits. And part of that is setting boundaries with yourself and sticking to the habits or goals that you have. A lot of things it talks about in the Atomic Habits book is if you want to be someone, then you have to act how that person would act today. So if you want to be like a fitness guru, then you're going to wake up and do exactly what a fitness guru would do today and then you're gonna do it tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and also I found that in my life if I try to change too many things up at once it doesn't work out it's not gonna work it's like a crash diet crash diets don't work but what does work is swapping foods one thing at a time so you know wake up 30 minutes earlier and then an hour earlier do a 10 minute exercise and then a 20 minute exercise and just slowly building habits on top of each other until you reach the goal setting goals doesn't do anything unless you figure out a game plan of how you are going to get to that final goal so yeah as you guys can tell by this video i've been changing like everything in my life recently to just become the best version of myself and i would highly recommend it to you guys i love you guys and i want the best for you so i wanted to tell you about that also, if you struggle with things like depression that literally keeps you in your bed all day, I know what it feels like. I've been there and you literally just cannot get yourself out of bed. I would highly recommend trying to get a accountability partner, someone that's going to literally come over, drag you out of bed and get you to start implementing these things. This has helped a ton with my mental health. Even if you can do some little things in bed to improve yourself, like reading a motivating book or something like that until you can get yourself into these habits. Like I I said just doing one little thing at a time it's going to change your life it's going to improve your mental health you'll just overall be a more content joyful person if you slowly transition into a person that you've always wanted to become by one little thing at a time but if i do have something to say it's that even if you can only spare an extra 30 minutes in the morning wake up a little earlier to get like a structured morning routine it is so worth it and it doesn't have to be pretty it doesn't have to be aesthetic it can just be like quick and simple and whatever works for you. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye!